I've been dancing since I've been in kindergarten. And we did it in our, like our dining room and we'd have like a performance for our parents with like makeup and everything. I chose to come to Ohio University to um, further develop my education in dance and explore choreography. I've been continuously getting that question answered, is this the place for me every day since I've been here? Just from the first moment that I visited the summer before my senior year. For this past year, I received the Betty Mill Hendler Endowed Scholarship as well as the Fine Arts Talent Scholarship. Having those scholarships have motivated me to um, try even harder. The memories that I've created here with my family, that I've created on the stage and in the classroom, are memories that I'm going to continue to cherish forever. They've always been there for me and with me, and I'm just so thankful to have these opportunities with them. I found my voice through my body. I became more confident. From there, I just like found my place and my niche, and I'm figuring out who I am and how I can voice those things. The dinosaurs are sort of the model for something that, that kind of bugs a lot of people like me. They're models for obsolescence. We talk about a corporation being a dinosaur, somebody that couldn't adapt. The reality is that dinosaurs are one of the greatest evolutionary success stories. My basic research mission is to look at the anatomical structure of extinct animals like dinosaurs to try to see how they worked as living animals. Ohio University has an amazing infrastructure for doing research, but we're a university. So what that means is that there are students, and we've got some really top-notch students involved in research, some great graduate students as well as undergraduates. So have you guys sorted out that problem with the septenarial foramen? Got it. No problem. Pretty good. Absolutely. And so being able to follow ideas that come, maybe not from myself, but some really interesting research directions that come from the students. As a scientist, I can go to the federal government to get research funding for specific projects. Sometimes those projects don't fall within the confines of my normally funded research. And so what's really helpful is if we have other little pots of money that we can sort of capture opportunities and really look at maybe some different kinds of projects. And so what's important to get from the university is the support that allows you to capture those, those opportunities, to be creative, and to go off in new directions that might produce some pretty big impact. The reality is I love all of these dinosaurs. They're all very interesting. But the ones with big, sharp teeth, the meat eaters, they're pretty awesome. Part of the mission and goal of the Promise Lives campaign is to expand the services to the community to provide health care to the underserved of this area. Recently, the Osteopathic Heritage Foundation in Columbus gave the medical school a grant of $105 million. It's one of the largest grants ever given to a medical school. And I think the school has done a great job with that. We have mobile units that are out in the community. They have multiple programs that they've incorporated. One in particular is the free clinic. Hi, Valerie. How are you? Hi, Ann. I'm Dr. Stanley. How are you? Good. Good. Valerie, let's check some reflexes. What do you think? Excellent. They're here to help those individuals within this community who may not get their health care because they don't have the finances to do that. It helps train our medical students and it teaches them the socioeconomic value of being involved. Our Medical school has grown, and with that expansion and with those finances, we're able to get out to a larger part of the community. I'm up before my alarm clock goes off in the morning, and I get to go to work and enjoy what I do every day. And this university and medical school gave me that opportunity. I'd been used to being around where I knew everybody. And I got to OU and I didn't know a soul. So I had to start from scratch. And it was a little intimidating for a little small town kid. 
I, I think one thing that really came out of my OU experience was I became much more confident in my abilities. I took an English uh, writing class. A uh, professor uh, pulled me aside, kept me after class, and said, have you ever thought about majoring in, in writing? I had never thought of that. It appealed to me, uh, and I was kind of good at it. I wish I knew who he was or where he was now because I've written three books and uh, I've gotten uh, four more being illustrated ready to go. When I graduated from OU, uh, Vietnam was going pretty hot and heavy. I applied for pilot training, something I always thought that uh, I wanted to do but never really thought that I had the ability to do it. But I had kind of picked up a little bit of confidence while I was going through OU and I thought, what the heck. We actually launched uh, a national celebration for Vietnam veterans, Operation uh, Welcome Home. It was a welcome home they never got, but we put on a four-day celebration, huge parades, lots of events. Oh, hi Mike. Hi Colonel Jackson. Just as Mike Logue did, he organized a combat veterans organization here at Ohio University to welcome home veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan. I'm getting ready to take some Russ College avionics students up. They lead the way in aircraft navigation systems that make the skies safer. This is our ADS-B unit. Which is the Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast System. It allows an aircraft to track all of the other aircraft, their position and orientation, at a one hertz frequency. Which is great for avoiding air-to-air -air collisions or helping a pilot acquire uh, traffic information easier. These student leaders are an example of what Ohio University does best. Ohio University provides best A mellophone is uh, the marching version of a French horn. It looks like a bigger trumpet. It's tamer than a trumpet. It's more mellow. <laughs> the Marching 110 is really the team's biggest fan. Uh, we come to every home game. We uh, support the team. We love to cheer them on. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, Lexi. Um, we really just love being here. But I went to that first game and watched the band play. It just had that atmosphere of the kind of college that I wanted to be at. They are genuinely having a good time. And you can see that when you're in the stands watching the band. I love being in the Marching 110. I love Ohio University. I'll see you guys at the game.